Unreal Engine has this amazing feature called Live Link. It lets you stream animation and model data directly into engine in real time. But there is a problem. If you are an indie dev building your own game engine, you don't get that feature. Until now. I have built a generic Live Link plugin for Blender and Maya. And today I am going to show you how you can bring that Unreal like workflow into any custom game engine. In my case, or for this video, the Go based engine I am developing. So all the demos you are going to see are hooked up with my Go based game engine. Having said this, the plugin which I have developed is not really limited with any particular type of game engine. The plugin streams the data which any game engine can use. As a level designer or an environment artist, you are constantly iterating on assets, transforms and animations. Traditionally, every change means exporting, re-importing, rebuilding. It's a time sink. And they will solve this with Live Link. But no other engine gives indie developers that luxury. So I decided to build a generic data streaming plugin for Blender and Maya, which any indie developer like me can use and add a live stream, live linking functionality to the engines they are developing. This isn't a sponsored or paid. I am doing this because I care about helping people learn game development. If it helps even a few of you get started or understand things better, it's worth it. My plugins sit inside Blender and Maya. They capture two things. Transforms, that is position, rotation, scale of objects. Meshes, that is vertices, normal series and indices. Every time you move an object or edit a mesh, the plugin streams that data over a simple TCP socket to the engine. The engine listens, updates its internal scene graph and boom, instant updates in your game view. In this demo, you can see as I am moving geometry, it's almost in real time the game objects are receiving the information and getting updated in my game view. In this second demo, you can see that it's not only limited to transforms, but even the mesh edits done in Maya are getting updated in my game objects in near real time. Now, let's see how we can set this up from scratch in Maya or Blender. In Blender, you need to go to Edit menu. Then, click on Preferences which opens up a window. In that Preferences window, go to the Add-on section. The right top, you will see the down arrow. Click on it to display install from disk option. Click on it, find the blender plugin.py file you downloaded on the disk and click on install. In blender viewport, you get a sidebar panel. Expand it to display all the options. Enable live link. Choose host and port and hit connect. If your game engine already have a server running, all the options in the sidebar panel will get invisible and you will see the disconnect button. In Maya, go to Windows menu, click on settings and preferences to open the plugin manager. In plugin manager, click on browse and give it a location of mayaplugin.py which you have downloaded for this. Unlike the blender, you will need to run UI script which I provided with the plugin to open the live link options. Both the plugins are generic. They don't care what your engine is as long as it can pass the data. One thing which Unreal Engine can't do is live linking with multiple 3D applications or sessions. And my game engine, it can connect with any number of 3D applications and translate the data into the game object simultaneously. Here is the demo of displaying how my game engine is connected with Maya as well as Blender and both the DCCs are affecting my game objects. Isn't this a cool feature to have? Let me know in the comments. This particular workflow is really a game changer for indie developers. No more waiting for exports. Your engine scene stays perfectly in sync with TCC tools. Designers can focus on level layouts, while artists keep updating assets in parallel. Basically, you get Unreal Live Link but for your own game engine. This is just the beginning, the plugins are generic. So if you are building your own game engine in Go, C++, Rust, whatever, you can hook into this system. If you want me to make a deep dive tutorial on how to integrate this system in your engine, let me know in the comments. I have already uploaded the plugins, source code required to run these demos to my GitHub account. Please feel free to check it out, modify according to your need and implement it in your game engine. 
and of course don't forget to like subscribe and share this with your fellow developers thank you for watching and see you in next one